Yes guys and welcome to RG Handhelds once again. Uh, it's been a while but uh, we're back again. Uh, today we're going to kick it off with um, Experimental's uh, latest uh, device that they uh, took a while releasing uh, due to delays of uh, Pi devices and uh, Covid and everything. Uh, so it got delayed by at least a year almost or maybe even more. But it's finally arrived on my desk and uh, we're going to go and take a quick look at unboxing for it and just show uh, a, a few games uh, playing on the device. Just a huge thanks to uh, the Experimental Pi uh, team for sending me uh, this uh, sample device out. Um, I have been uh, chasing them for almost a year for it, <laughs> but um, you know, it's finally here and uh, I'm just going to take a look at the back. Of the actual case so you can see there it's a Pi Boy XRS this time which is the horizontal version uh, to their last version which was the Pi Boy DMG you can see there uh, which is more the uh, Game Boy type uh, DMG style uh, handheld so looking on the back of the box you can see you got trigger buttons uh, dual analogs now you can see there uh, you got some menu buttons it's got a 3.5 inch ips lcd there uh, you can see the speakers situated right in that corner right here uh, you got four buttons on your face buttons and they have put venting on the top uh, uh, and it takes a uh, full size pi 4 as usual so does the last one um so Nothing's changed there. I know they are working on the CM4 device, but due to availability of CM4 devices, uh, that's obviously going to be de uh, delayed as well. And also, Pi 4 devices are actually very hard to get at the moment as well. They seem to be out of stock everywhere. Uh, you know, um, you may get lucky finding one. I was surprised that there was no Pi 4 in the review sample. Uh, whereas uh, this one actually came with a Pi 4 in the device uh, when I had the sample device but obviously with uh, Pi 4s being so scarce at the moment um, I can't uh, really blame them for not sending out uh, with the Pi 4 device so that's fine so let's uh, go ahead and unbox this um, just have a look at the side there you can see it's the AR008 kit so this is the actual kit um, uh, it does come fully assembled as well like I say uh, that's not the one I was sent so everything else you can see usual packaging from experimental so let's go ahead and unbox this thing so I have gone ahead and obviously assembled the whole thing but what you get in the box is uh, just quick and easy guide uh, of how to assemble this thing and it's uh, clearly telling you there uh, make sure you put the supplied uh, heat sink uh, silicon in that location where it's pointing and then you simply attach your Pi 4 I found it very easy to put together uh, that's the actual device itself um, compared to the last one guys so you can see there these are both the devices uh, from Pi Experimental uh, quickly going in the box I just want to show you you actually got uh, this in the box uh, which was a HDMI uh, adapter which I have gone ahead you can see right there and put it in uh, on the Pi 4 uh, and that's actually what you got in the packet uh, these are just some spare screws but you get the actual HDMI adapter as well um what else do we have and you also get the uh the usb cable and you'll be glad to know guys they actually went for a type c this time whereas opposed to the pi boy had the old uh, micro usb so i guess that's a good thing uh there's nothing else in the box apart from you also get a screwdriver that you actually need uh to do the uh works so that's good of them to actually include that but I'm just going to put this one aside and we're going to concentrate and boot this one up uh, as we have a look around the device while it boots up so you can see there um, the way it's been set up now you're venting as I mentioned there 
uh, you got your type C now uh, which is pretty cool and you got that uh, 3.5 inch headphone jack right there uh, that's a good addition um, and your HDMI uh, port is just down the bottom there uh, it's pretty cool having HDMI it comes with the retro pie uh, as stock now so that's pretty cool uh, to have as well uh, you can see there it's just booted up but let's take a quick look around the device uh, these are just some stickers that I put on myself so uh, just to bling it up we say a little bit uh, and also you can see on the back there I've also put some stickers on my own stickers that uh, uh, my good old friend Sakura uh, has sent out me for my uh, older DMG right so the back cover this actually houses the micro SD card so I think it's a cool little um, idea that is quick access to that micro SD slot when you need to go ahead and uh, you know get uh, swap cards out uh, there's some really good venting here now and guys you have a huge heat sink now um, so you can actually overclock and you also have two batteries in here one is situated here and one is situated there uh, so I think it gives you over 5000 milliamp in power which is pretty decent if you ask me um you know it will go uh quite far for battery life but i'm not actually tested real life battery at the moment uh still currently testing so here's your shoulder buttons they're nice and they feel very nice and clicky uh you know uh one thing i did notice they're not actually marked um i don't know whether it's just because this is a sample um and they've not marked them but it would have been nice to see some markings on these uh, buttons uh, but apart from that um not too uh, not too worrying so uh your usual uh pi 4 uh slots here you got your two uh usbs and the other two um which are 3.0 and 2.0 i believe and you got your lan cable right there uh so that's that side we've done that side that side blank and this is the front of the device guys you can see i've gone ahead and gone and installed uh the actual stock os that it does come with uh, which is pretty cool and i've uh, selected this theme i've gone ahead and put on some uh, emulators just to show you guys um you know so we can certainly go ahead and check out uh, a couple of these uh, i do like the old arcade games here uh, some of my favorites uh, personally uh, I've seen a few reviews of this device uh, and there's some people that like it and some that don't personally myself I love the device um, I really did want this kind of form factor uh, let's put some credits in here actually let's go ahead and put the uh, actual volume up so to put the volume up I think you hold this button down and that menu comes up and it tells you there see it's shining yellow let's get this volume and that's fine you can actually put the uh, brightness by turning left and right as well but the brightness is fine put a credit in and let's lift off so let me go uh, know guys what you think of this device um, was it what you're expecting? I know a few people have got this device now. I think it's a cracking little device. Uh, I do like the uh, aspect ratio of the screen this time around. And it's actually quite, quite comfortable to hold as well. Uh, I do actually prefer it over the Fiboy DMG, which I showed you earlier. Uh, we can uh, do a comparison to them uh, a bit later in the video, but and to exit out of the emulator you just go ahead and press these two together and it you'll certainly come straight back out so that was kicking off with a bit of afterburner arcade guys coming back out of that we can certainly try something a bit more demanding uh so power uh is going to be dependent on the pi 4 as you all know uh pi 4 is getting on a bit these days but 
Uh, it's, it can certainly still hold its own, uh, as you uh, all are aware of that. Um, I know Vulcan uh, drivers are coming out or are out now and in testing, which can improve uh, performance uh, quite a bit. So let's try some N64 guys. Let's see what we have here. Uh, yeah, let's try the old Mario Karts. Let that load up. Let's see how it handles N64. It should be able to hold its own on this as well. Pi 4 no can handle uh, quite a few N64 games. Uh, you can see on the top there that it tells you your current uh, wattage, temperature and so on on the top. Uh, which is handy to know, but uh, to be honest, I wish we had an option to actually turn it off in the software because it can become irritating at times. So I hope Pi Experimental will update the firmware and uh, give us an option to actually turn it down or actually adjust the fan speed. I'm still trying to find out how to adjust the fan speed, but I'm sure you can actually do it. There we go. So you can see guys, it's running pretty decent. Smooth. Doesn't seem to be any slowdowns at its normal speed. Uh, you can't use the D-pad at the moment, uh, so it's mapped to the analog stick as usual. So that's that guys, you can see N64 performance is more than acceptable on this device, which is great. Uh, what else do we have here? I just want to try and show you like the high end uh, um, things. We actually have some ports on here, uh, some of my favorites too. We won't go into that, but uh, you can play some pool games right there. So let's see what we have in the... Uh, the old uh, uh, PSP sorry sorry about this guys PSP let's try Tekken Dark Resurrection and see how that plays because PSP can be demanding for the Pi 4 I know some games do actually work but not all games will run smooth Quickly flip through this. Just make any old name. There we go. Oh, it's gone through to a training mode. So, but you can see it's actually running pretty decent here. Uh, we're using the D-pad this time. I'm pretty happy with that performance on here. Pretty, pretty, uh, more or less full speed. I don't see any kind of uh, slowdowns or anything. So it's, like I say, it's all dependent on Pi 4. This Pi 4 that I have in here is actually the 4 gig version um, that I have in here. So uh, Tekken is running good. Uh, you have PlayStation. I um, have a few games in here, but let's not go into that. Uh, what else can we try? We have some Sega CD. Uh, it's been a while since I've tried any Sega CD, but uh, we can certainly try something like Final Fight or something. Just to have a look. Show you that it does. Play Sega CD. There's the famous logo, boot logo. I really do like the analog sticks as well. They're very comfortable to use and holding the device is very comfortable. Uh, I do find it uh, better than the uh, DMG as I've said before. Um, this is my preferred, uh, uh, preferred uh, like uh, handheld for 
between the ex experimental devices. So they currently have uh, two handhelds out. They will be releasing something else uh, shortly. I'm not exactly sure when, but I know they are do have an arcade type device uh, coming out soon uh, in December, I believe. High Boy Arcade, um, which is a, a very interesting device. So I hope I, I do get a sample for that and uh, I'd love to review that as well. And hopefully Pi 4 will be uh, more available at that time. Uh, or we might even see uh, Pi 5 coming out. And uh, if they actually uh, are compatible with Pi, uh, Pi 4 devices, we're in for a treat because you can go ahead and just swap out the uh, Pi 4 for Pi 5. That's a good old classic roundhouse there. Anyway, I won't bore you too much with this game, guys. I just want to show you, like I say, I really do dig this device. I love the theme on it as well. Um, it's smooth, the menu. I've not had any issues, really, with the device uh, actually using it. I have been test doing a lot of testing on this device, uh, checking out uh, certain things. Um, and I've not really had any issues at all where it freezes or locks up. Uh, there was a little uh, scare at first where I was getting uh, some funny artifacts on the screen on uh, on boot, but that seemed to have resolved itself. Uh, it must have been a, a one-off uh, issue or something to do with the safe shutdown, but uh, it seems to have uh, resolved itself. Um, it does. I notice it does take a while to charge, so because it having two batteries, but. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty certain it's brilliant on battery life. And here's a, uh, compared to the Pi Boy DMG, you can see the size length of them are almost identical, as in the length, you can see right there. And then if you go side by side, there you go. I do have Batocera on here. Um, unfortunately, I tried to, I did try the memory card from here into here, but unfortunately it did not work. Uh, so um, I don't know if the Batasira guys are watching this. Uh, I hope you guys can actually uh, add support in the same image and make this uh, XRS work. That would be pretty cool to use Batasira on here as well. Uh, I was hoping it would work out the box, but it did not work for me. Uh, so that's it, guys. That is my um, wrap up for the Pi Boy XRS. I think it's a great addition to the uh, currently cool Pi Boy DMG. That's already quite popular. Um, this is the Pi Boy XRS from Experimental. The latest handheld uh, to come out recently was delayed by an, uh, uh, at least a year uh, for unforeseen circumstances, but it's here, it's ready to play. You've seen it. There are reviews out there already. Uh, I mean, uh, quite a few people have ETA Prime. Um, uh, a few others have already uh, reviewed the device. Uh, so you can go ahead and check out them reviews as well. But personally, I do really like the form factor. Uh, everything on this device is cool. Um, I mean, I do still like this one, but uh, I just like prefer the uh, shape of this one it's like a lot easier for me to hold uh, and play my games uh, so that's it guys these are currently the two devices from experimental currently at this present time um, they are releasing a new device so watch out on our channel for when that happens i hope december um, we will have a new device but there you go i will leave it with you there guys if you like the video, hit that uh, like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you soon.